We are continuing to follow breaking news this afternoon. The Blount County Sheriff released body cam and dash cam footage from the night a Blount County Sheriff's deputy was killed. Another wounded. The suspect is in jail. As we've been telling you, that footage is graphic. We've been reviewing it for the last couple of hours through our team of journalists, and we turn right now to 10 News anchor Brittany Bailey to walk us through what the sheriff released today. Brittany. John and Robin, the entire chunk of videos is more than 26 minutes long. We saw body cam and dash cam video from both Deputy Greg McCowan and Deputy Shelby Eggers. The Blount County Sheriff released those videos today after talking with the families and they all wanted you to see it. Sheriff James Lee Barong starts off by explaining what led up to that initial traffic stop. You'll see the probable cause. Uh, just watch your camera there and you'll see the traffic violations that is made that in, for her to initiate a traffic stop. Deputy Shelby Eggers initiates a traffic stop moments later and then makes contact with Kenneth Wayne DeHart Jr. for the first time. My name's Shelby. I work for the Blunt County Sheriff's Office. I'll stop you now because you are all over the road. Oh, sorry. I, I, didn't, I didn't notice. Um, okay. I just put my hair up. Put your hair up? Yeah. Okay. Deputy Eggers goes back to her vehicle and calls Deputy Greg McCowan for backup. Uh -huh. Hey, uh, so car smells like weed, uh, and he was in the opposite lane yeah. on Severe Road. Pretty sure that you are. Uh, while waiting for Deputy McCowan, she goes back to DeHart Jr. again and lets him know that she smells marijuana. I am going to have to step out, hang out with me. Uh, so, I smell weed in the car. Have you ever smoked weed in this car? Okay, you don't smoke nothing? Has anybody ever smoked in the car? Okay. 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 Well, I'll smell it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to step out and hang out with you. Okay. You can hear DeHart Jr. on the phone saying that he does not smoke weed. She's trying to say she smells weed, man. I'm like, you know, I don't smoke weed. No, nobody else don't smoke weed. Eight and a half minutes after that phone call, Deputy McCowan arrives on scene. We're going to play the rest of the interaction in full and pause before either deputy is shot. But we want to warn you, it is still graphic. So here's what's going to happen if you don't step out of the car. We're going to have to drag you out of the car, and then you're going to go to jail. So you can either step out of the car, or I can pull you out. You can step out the car. You will get out of the car. Your man. says, why don't you want to go to your day? She gave you a lawful command. I don't smoke marijuana. She, she, asked, you, she, I, I, she asked you to get out of the car. Get out of the car. Y'all said it smell like weed. I need you to get a dog, please. No, we don't, we don't have to have a dog. Get a dog. Well, it smells there like weed. There is no get out of marijuana the car. in this okay. car. I'm going to tell you one more time. Can you get out of the car? I, I can't, ma'am. I'm can? recording this. Okay, I'm you can record right it. Now. That's fine. I'm recording too. I recorded this whole interaction. Go ahead and get out. Well, I'm not doing nothing wrong. wrong. You were on the wrong side of the road, kid. I was not on the wrong side you of the road. You were on the wrong side of the road, bro. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. I'm not. No. You're not going to jail for refusing. No, you can't do that. You're not going to do that. You can't do this, man. You can't do this. Get your hands off of me. Get your hands off of me. Get your hands off of me. Get your hands off of me.
Now, after the shooting, Deputy Eggers puts on her own tourniquet. That's after she was shot in the leg. Civilians did stop to help her, and another stayed with Deputy McCowan until more help arrived on scene. Again, we do have all of these videos. They are all on our website right now. But again, we did not want to show you an unedited version here on air out of respect for everyone involved. John and Robin. All right, Brittany, thank you very much. And our team coverage continues tonight.